yeah, so I'm, yeah, it's cool, it's fine, uh, but I'm very aware now, as as if we weren't almost there already, that we are definitely in a constructed story. So let's not pretend there is a coda or uh, any of that kind of stuff. It's 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 a little disappointing, but that's probably more a reflection on what I think about it than actually the game. It's still absolutely amazing and intriguing and uh over one and a half hours in i i i want to keep going and keep uh exploring thank you i intend to be quick Okay, we got the press here. Ah, excuse me. Excuse me. There'll be questions later. There'll be time for questions later. There'll be... Yeah, excuse me. Uh, Tom from the New York Times, not you. Security, get him out of here. Okay, we have a machine. And of course, it's the machine. The machine. I guess the machine most likely to re represents um, how he sees game development. He's got to feed himself, he's got to pay his bills, he's got to do everything else, which means he has to conform to, um, you know, the contract or the job or the project that he has to work on. And he... Does he feel like a part of the machine? Maybe it's more that the the machine is the whole game development scene as it currently is for him. Here's the press. I said get rid of Tom. Look, there's Tom from the New York Times. Tom, get the fudge out of here. My friends... The machine is an illusion. <laughs> okay, well, maybe number one instead. Let's destroy the machine, comrade. It's the stage again. There's no uh, machine to destroy. Um, okay. Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Uh, Davy, could I have had like you know thirty more seconds to figure it out? That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of ruined the surprise a bit. Like, geez, thirty more seconds to figure it out. Okay, well anyway. Oh my god. Oh, we can keep the stage. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. 
because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So what if I did it for it? Well, if he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Well, maybe you should ask him. Maybe, maybe you should ask him. You're, you're his friend. Rather than just submitting the, the games. No, oh, we're falling. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. That's a pretty simplistic interpretation of somebody who may be suffering from some uh, some social anxiety. And that's the only kind of unbelievable part in the story is the not talking to Coda uh, outside of the game. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. And the Oscar goes to Davy Reen. Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. Let us take a look indeed. In a completely unscripted fashion, right, Davy? Also, it's 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 funny the way he Davy uh, keeps referring to how he felt and how it made him feel, uh, and, and spends very little time on uh, what the benefit to Coda would be. Okay, let's take a look at the tower. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work, because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Yeah, it's yeah, I, I, it's cold. It has uh, some large dark concrete walls and some whispery stuff in the background. Uh, but it doesn't really have a. F you know, much of the impact of uh, telephone booth conversation or house cleaning conversation. Or, sorry, house cleaning, uh, house cleaning scenario. This room actually has a maze in it. Okay. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then, every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise, so the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played, it actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. 
Okay, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't think it despises the player at all. I'm not sure how you can draw that interpretation. And honestly, you're supposed to be this guy's friend, so um, if you could add that context, it would help. Otherwise, it's just a very, 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 very difficult puzzle. But that is actually solvable, as you could see. In the first few moments, I was starting to make progress and see that the, the, the maze probably went like that, like that, and then somewhere out like that. Obscurely difficult, but um, I, I don't, don't feel despised. Oh, he's just dropped in a lot of wall sections. <laughs> That's cool. I love the Source Engine. If, if there's any one overriding feeling from the game, it's like, I need to get into the Source Engine and just try something. I mean, you just need talent. And to be fair, it's not like this <laughs> is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Well, I guess we shall find out. Uh, we've got a similar effect to the level where we remove the walls of the room. Looks like there's some extra stuff going on there. That MC Escher effect. I will say now that the whispering voices have subsided and the music is simply that one constant tone, you know, com coming back into that simple tension creating scenario is, is uh, pretty, pretty cool. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Well, obviously this, just like the maze before, uh, represents a barrier. It's a barrier to entry. Coda doesn't want, as we can see here from the maze below us, doesn't want anybody to come in here. Um, and we've seen portions of Coda's games in the previous levels where some of his innermost thoughts and feelings are, are, are written down to see and maybe he never intended anybody else to see that and maybe we shouldn't be seeing it and I hope that you know you Davey has permission to do all of this stuff um, there's even kind of some copyright questions as well when you think deeply about it but um, we'll crack on but these are all just simply barriers to, to places where Coda is keeping his thoughts makes sense to me okay Oops. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. Yeah, but <coughs> I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem 
Yeah, but Davy, it's not about you. I this... can open this door for you, so let me do that. Thank you, but this is not about you, okay? The first two items were barriers to even getting to her. This is a door that it's actually impossible to get through without hacking the game. Everything is telling us that this game, like, like all of the games, I was going to say many, but all of the games we've seen are receptacles for Koda's thoughts, his fears, his anxieties, whatever, whatever you want to call them. And that many examples in the past have shown us that it was impossible or very difficult to get to see those areas. We couldn't even go up the stairs in like the second level without a hack. Many times we couldn't go anywhere without a hack. So it's quite obvious that these games are designed to stop us from seeing some, some private thoughts and moments. So I'm not even sure that we should be doing what we're doing right now. But uh, you don't really explain that you have the, per the permission to do this, this Davy. I mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. Probably script writing at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though, that was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Probably, you know, inviting him for a beer and maybe having a chat <laughs> could, could, you know, uh, hey, this is Ireland, it works for us, but, you know, replace beer with coffee, noodles, classical mo movies. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. So you but need... he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. So you needed to validate yourself uh, through helping someone else. Surely the reason to help someone else is just to help someone else. It's good if you feel good about it, but I don't think it should be the primary motivation. Where did I screw up? Davy, I don't know. Probably on the script writing. Um, maybe on the voice acting. Um, I don't know, man. But you screwed up. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally, for a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. <laughs> so in this story, it looks like that Davy is getting more from the experience than Coda. And I think that's been apparent for a while as well. Like, please stop adding lampposts to them. This um, this 
you know, figurative end point to the games. And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Well, this one phrase here kind of sums up what I've been feeling for quite for quite some time in the game as well. Now, I'm not disappointed that it's not a real-life story. I don't think it is anyway. If someone wants to prove me difficult, uh, <laughs> prove me different, uh, prove me wrong. Yeah, let's write that down as an edit point. If someone wants to prove me... Yeah, this phrase here sums up the feeling that I've been having uh, for quite some time now about the game. Is that uh, Davy gets more out of this than Coda. Um, and that... <laughs> it's The game says a lot more about... Uh, Davy or the character that Davy is portraying than actually Coda, who to me, to go to the lengths that he has to create all of this work, to try to express his inner feelings, makes him more healthy than most of us. At least most of us in Ireland. Let me qualify that point. Because we don't believe in therapy here. We believe in the pub. That's just a stereotype based joke. Please don't be offended. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please. I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Can we get that second Oscar? Start polishing it, please. Okay. Here's the train. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. I 
guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Or have you had a conversation with him? Maybe he just likes making prisons. Plot hole, if you had had a conversation with him. <laughs> Sorry to keep pointing it out, but it's, it's a pretty significant plot hole, I think. Hugely enjoyable Even experience, now, though. The disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Anybody get the feeling that Coda is Davy? <gasps> mic drop, mic drop. What now? I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna Okay. Okay, Davy. I mean, <laughs> slightly pretentious, slightly. We're going to here. And we're back here. Beautiful lighting effects. We can hear a bird singing. It looks like the beam. The sacrificial beam from the second game. The only sounds we can hear are the echoes of our footsteps, some bird singing. And now some kind of ominous uh, thunder.
And it's another labyrinth. However, this time we can't see any end to it. We can't see any way through it. Probably the description of, or representation of how the character of Davy Reedon felt. Having a uh, exploited Coda and his work for really his own gains, uh, for how he felt. I feel like it's a possibility that Coda is actually Davy, or rather the character of Davy. It was a, a beautiful, touching game. I really enjoyed it from start to finish. My two and a bit hours have been very enjoyable. If any art can help you to think Turn about back from this yourself, that's pretty impressive. I'll stay quiet now for the end song.